Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here, and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, we have the new Hataguchi card to review today. So, we're taking a look at a card who is 5'10", high, high work rates, right-footed, 4-star skills, 4-star weak foot. So, high, high work rates, you know that, and a 4-1, 2-2 and two wouldn't be bad. If his pace is actually set up in a way where it's decent. So he's going to have 98 acceleration, 96 sprint speed with 97 stamina. Okay, so it's a card you can actually use in the side positions if you want to. Cool. Because the high, high work rates is really nice to have in the side areas, right? Especially if you're playing a three at the back or you're playing, um, you know, a 4-4-2 formation and you're making like some sort of Japanese team. It'd be really cool to be able to work with all that kind of stuff. From what I'm seeing so far, from base card stats being improved, I would say that... The dribbling department's definitely something that needs to be improved with a little bit of composure for sure. Um, jumping, physical. Physical is like not really an existent thing on this card. Dribbling's at a 95 for agility, 94 for balance. He does have a lean body type, right? Does have a lean body type. So I was kind of thinking like with this card in the future, if he gets certain upgrades, I feel like the marksman chemistry style might be the best bet, right? Because you boost the shooting by quite a bit, right? You're going to be in a really high area for finishing and whatnot. Uh, your dribbling will be significantly better to work with that lean body type. Uh, but yeah, certain things are still missing. Like the attacking positioning, for instance, is still really low. So, you know, maybe some people will give him like a maestro for higher reactions with a passing, you know. It's a card that's formatted strangely. And you could see that when Flippin has this, I always feel like this is a problem because there's no obvious choice. Um, a Deadeye chemistry style would also be a very good choice because look at the way that they boost the shooting, right? And then that's in the hopes of the dribbling being improved for base card stats and then the pace being improved for base card stats. So I do think that the Deadeye chemistry style is probably going to be the most obvious choice of the bunch that are here, right? But uh, for now, with this card, we are going to be testing him out on the Hawk chemistry style to see what the base dribbling is like. Uh, passing on the card is very good, so if you're using him in the camera side area, is perfectly fine. That with the high stamina is fantastic to work with. Uh, with his dribbling, we'll be experimenting with it in game because he has the lean body type, but certain things are for the for this game is on the low side, right? Um, and then he's got 85 for jumping. The hawk is actually going to give him 95 for jumping. That with a five foot ten height. Okay, interesting. Attacking positioning is really low on this card, so that's a. Uh, that's an interesting one. But with this formation, guys, you know, Japes is an absolute monster. Always appreciate him so much for this formation because it allows you to play in certain ways that are just really fun. So, uh, let's see. Baku and Kunku. I think it actually makes more sense to do this. Well, Haraguchi would play in the camp position, but just for this, as for what it's like right now. Gyo, you need like a, the Royce. If that card actually ends up coming out, holy, that difference would be would be crazy, but uh, yeah, we'll use him in that left striker position. Does he have uh, traits? Playmaker, okay, so he got no traits. He's for the guys that want to make Japanese teams, okay. Nice, just had to work some small dribbles. Make him think I'm going to go on the inside there. And go back on the outside. Oh, no way. I feel like the shot should have, you know, came off a little bit better right there, but we'll rock with it. Green or not? That's a white. That was a great finesse shot. That was a really good finesse shot, actually. On a white, too. Very clean, you know? Mistimed it like crazy there. A white time is basically just you hitting it normally, but that was good. Yeah, I don't mind his dribbling too much. The lean body type is uh is doing really well for it. You're offside, but we're gonna try to shot from there. We can't. Ah. He has a uh, really good animations for those finesse shots. That's actually really solid. Cause then I could just have to put more power in behind those ones. Cause some of them like are very um sluggish, right? So when you could tell that someone hits them like pretty direct, you kind of get a very good feel for it. Regular power strike, nothing too special about that one. Not a super high percentage strike, but. See what I'm saying? Like you just put more power, they actually hit it nicely. So if I can get those 45 degree angle things with him, I feel like that'd be fine. Let's see. Yeah, he hits them well. I just have to green them. 
Foul? I could probably get the free kick tactic here. The AI does follow you nowadays, by the way. So if I do this, it'll follow me. Oh, not from that angle, eh? Oh, he hits a post from there. Let me get that back. Try from that angle. Okay. Cool beans. So Hawk chemistry style. He has 88 finishing, so 93 with the Hawk. So yeah, Deadeye is definitely going to be a go-to for sure. Oh, I hit the crossbar there. Too much power. New. Yeah, I'm telling you guys, like, watch. I'm going to give him a dead eye. You're going to see. Okay, so if we take a look and see here, uh, with the dead eye chemistry style, he's going to have plus 15 for that shot power, plus 5 for the long shots, finishing to a 98, and then he's also going to have 92 attacking positioning. So definitely feels like he requires it on this card. So we'll see what that is going to be like. Oh my goodness, why do I put so much power for those near post strikes? Oh, it's good that he pushed his goalkeeper there, actually. Good job, good job. Yeah, I messed that up a little bit. Not gonna lie to you guys. I messed it up, boys. I messed it up. Yeah, good play. Really well-weighted pass, actually, from him. That was good. Told you. When you when you see that someone has like a like a directness for his shot, that's when it's like uh, that's when you just gotta boost those shooting stats. Oh, that one I put too much power. But you see how he's hitting them really nicely now. That's what that was his weak foot too. We're just gonna miss that opportunity, eh? Hmm. Interesting. Dead eye chemistry style, eh, guys? Amazing. I even you know what's funny is that I take. I don't blame him for it, by the way. This is just this is. I blame him and I don't. I'll just, I'm gonna explain to you guys why, okay? Because his base card stats for shooting is at an 88, it's going to be less consistent, whatever chemistry style you give. But it's just insane to me that they want me to hit that on a green, on a on a on a touched shot across goal with his weak foot, you know? Oh, I tried. I tried to get it. Oh my goodness, sometimes it's the power I'm putting in. Oh, should have done it earlier there. Bad play by me there. Hmm, coming off of that little drag touch, kind of messed with him there a little bit for that, uh, for that shot. Yeah, I figured that wasn't going to work. And <laughs> Pergman tried anyways. That works. Apparently his name is Haraguchi. That's what they called him in game. Haraguchi. Yeah, that's what I call him, right? Haraguchi. Oh, I thought it was going to be way too close to the goalie there. And that actually worked out. Cool, I'll take it. Nice, good stuff. Good play by both Yaraguchi and uh and uh Sirdar. Good stuff, good stuff. Penalty. Ah, oh, ha ha. 
I think I got him on the mag, but just no animation for the fall there. Okay, guys, so final verdict on the new Hataguchi card. So in regards to how he performs in game, guys, um, I gave him a dead eye chemistry style currently because I felt like I needed to boost his uh, shooting as much as possible to work with some of those finesse shot angles, power strike angles and whatnot. Um, I do feel like uh, the majority of people who complete this SBC are going to be people who want to make Japanese teams for their concept teams. Um, I feel like with this card in game, obviously needs the dribbling boost, needs the pace boost. Uh, it's funny because, yes, I'm giving him a dead eye chemistry style right now, but if they boost him a certain way on a marksman chemistry style, it wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing either. It's just that shot power is on the lower side. So when I look at that area of the card, it's one of the areas that I do want to improve on the most. On a Hawk chemistry style, uh, which could also be very good depending on the future improvement on the card, uh, you give him that little bit of extra pace, that extra shooting and physicality. But I do feel like for the long haul, you're probably still going to use a Deadeye if they boost the pace and dribbling a certain way. So if you're going with a Japanese team and you want to use him in the cam position, I do feel like with these types of cards, I feel like you, if you're making that type of team, it's because you're using like a four triple two or something, right? Because Nagatomo is actually pretty usable in this game as well. People don't really use him, obviously, for link reasons, but um, he is still pretty usable in this game, just like they did to this Haraguchi card. So it's just one of those guys. So, you know, nothing crazy special. To be honest with you guys, the SPCs that EA have released... I consider these guys like more like concept players that, you know, not even as should they shouldn't even be at 147 K. Like, I feel like these cards are released to wipe the fodder from your team for people who are addicted to doing SPCs and opening the packs from those things and stuff. Right. Um, but here's what I'm going to say, right? If he gets the upgrade, it'll be a solid card to use in the meta of the game. If you want to have some fun with him and use him in those Bundesliga teams, Japanese teams, but I would say for the last like two days, they've just been releasing like concept cards for the most part. So it's just one of those types of situations, right? But um, yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.